it's beginning to look a lot like November. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a totally not spooktacular episode of Full Circus. My name is still Tristan Sartors, however, and I am still happy to have you guys here with me. Uh, yeah, dude, as you can see, the studio is back to the basics, right? We're back to the regular, the plain old, same old version of the booth, and, you know, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. It's hard to see all the beautiful cast of characters gone, right? We have freaking nobody, you know, and, and nobody, right? We had Francais and Otis the Evil Overgord and Jigglebot McBones, but we have nobody here anymore. No cast of characters to cheer us on and really embrace that, that beautiful festive spirit. But that's okay, dude. That's okay. That's just, that's part of the holidays. That's part of, is there a fly in here? What the? Anyways, um, sorry, my, my freaking brain, easily distracted, right? My thought process is derailed, right? That's why they call it a train of thought. But anyways, uh, part of the festive spirit is just, it, it comes and it goes, dude. That's just part of it. That's part of the holidays. And it's sad, but you have to make sure you make the most of it while they are here. So it was a beautiful time. It was a beautiful episode. It was everything I could have ever wanted. I was so excited. It was so much fun. And we hit like an hour. It was like an hour long episode, which is like twice the amount of my usual running time. So I was proud of that. It was a, it was a good thing. And I was really happy to, to finally pull that off. However, there was one little crucial detail that I did leave out, right? I told that super long story about how I was almost organ harvested, and I, I, I know I probably shouldn't keep saying that in case Ken stays like, yo, you can't keep saying there's organ harvesters here at our freaking campus. We got the, there's no organ harvesters. There's no, what? Oh, shoot. But um, anyways, I'll say that for the, for the rest of the world, say maybe there were no organ harvesters. You know, whatever. But in my mind, there were organ harvesters. But anyways... I was telling the story about the organ harvesters, and and you might have been like, oh, you know, maybe he's just receiving text messages and 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 whatever, he just got spooked, whatever. It it could be, but I forgot one little detail, and this isn't like groundbreaking, but it was part of the story that I meant to say. That like one of the nights right after I had left campus, and I was looking up the organ harvest, she's like, oh gosh, what is this? What does this mean? There was a news article about a girl who had just been through an attempted stabbing. Like, right after I had left. I was like, okay, that's even more scary. So, if that just adds a little bit more context in world building for that story, there you go. So, you can go back, listen to it with that now, and be like, whoa, now that's scary. And, uh, you know, and I don't know what an attempted stabbing is, right? To me, like, an attempted stabbing is to really just, uh, and, and miss, right? If you have a knife, uh, 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 and you miss, then, you know... That's, I don't even know what to say. You might not be that athletic. You just don't got the dexterity. You don't got the skill to be a, a knife-wielding maniac. But I don't know if it's an attempted at stabbing. I wasn't there, but I just know there was a girl, and the guy had a freaking black hood and a knife, and it didn't say anything about him swinging and missing because that would have been really sad. Um, you know, he might have just been a freaking knife fun addict, and those people exist. Some people just really admire cutlery, right? That's just who the people are out in the world, okay? So maybe this guy... This poor freaking guy, he was just cold, had a hood on, he was just loving his knife, and he got freaking, he got duped and charged for it, and that's, that's sad, but it would be even sadder if he did try to stab and miss, but good for the girl, right, she, everyone, hey, listen, at the end of the day, everyone made it home safe, except for the guy who, who loves knives, <laughs> he's in trouble, um, but anyways, dude, uh, I am happy to have you guys here with me today, as you can see, I did keep one little thing, uh, I know I have the two fingers because I don't know which is the new strand. It's this one right here. Um, I did keep one thing from the new studio renovations, the the freaking improvements, and that's that second strand of lights. Because I thought, hey, if I'm going to pay for it, I might as well get my freaking money, okay? Now, all those cast of characters, all the people, they're freaking alive. I mean, they're not alive. They're ghosts. But, you know, they're off doing their own thing, and maybe they're in a box somewhere. Maybe they'll return next Halloween. I have no idea, but... The lights stay, right? Because I thought, hey, 
adds another dynamic. And look what I'm doing already. Episode one, getting my use out of it. You kind of got this little fall decor. So it's, everything's mirrored. So if I look like I don't have the dexterity, if it looks like I would miss on an attempted stabbing, it's because I'm working through this little mirror world. But anyways, you got the people with the fall decor. And you got people who are trying to usher in the new season of Christmas. It's kind of like this little war on the worlds, right? It's like this little battle back and forth. And uh, that's kind of how the world is right now, right? You have these people that are like, Halloween's over, November 1st, bust out the Christmas stuff. Or maybe even before Halloween, they're just like, bust out the Christmas stuff. Some of these people are even in March saying, bust out the Christmas stuff. And if you're doing it in March, you're wrong, plain and simple. Um, but you know, everyone has their own take on when the holiday season and, and festivity and the, and the songs and the decorations, everything should rise up. So a lot of people are like, hey, right after Halloween ends, November 1st, you put your tree up. You put your lights up. You put the songs up. You drink an eggnog. I was going to say hot cocoa and eggnog. What? I was going to say hot cocoa and eggnog. I didn't say either of them. I got around to it. Okay. It must have been like that fly or whatever. It's just freaking throwing me off. Um... But anyways, you have people that are really dedicated, going hard, and staying true to, you know, Christmas and trying to bring it up. And then you have other people that are like, we need to stay hard and true and strong for the fall decor, right? Like, it's November. It's November. Stop with the madness. And uh, and I get it. I get, I get from both sides. You know, the only thing I don't agree with is the people that are like, you got to freaking stay around because Thanksgiving, you, you got to get ready for the Dude, Thanksgiving is a dinner. It's a meal. If someone wants to freaking go hard on Christmas and eat a sandwich and go back to heart, what's the problem? I get that. I understand that. You know, so people who are like that, you and your holiday can stuff it. Pun intended. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do understand. It's like, oh, it's too early. Oh, it's too late. Some people want Christmas stuff like the two weeks before Christmas. Some people want to start it real early and it's, it's this little back and forth. What should we do? Um, now for me, Christmas, it's like, it's, it kind of slowly builds for me. As soon as Halloween ends, November, it's like, it can be Christmas if it has to. That's my stance. It's like a wild card. If the magic rises up within me, I'll put on some Michael Buble, okay? I'll put on some Johnny Mathis. I'll let it happen, but you don't force it. You do not force the Christmas magic, okay? You do not shove it. That's for the turkeys, okay? So that's how I believe November should be treated. Be like, okay, if something happens, I let it rise up, okay? And you slowly start taking out, oh, you got this little this little nice thing of leaves or whatever. Eventually, you slowly take that away. You still got all the rest of your fall decor. You put a snowman back in its place. You see, you know, I don't know, some sort of corn and cubby, or you got the corn, whatever. I don't know if corn's specific to fall, but in this case it is. And you pull it away, and you throw a reindeer. It doesn't have to be Rudolph if that's too strong for you, okay? Just a regular reindeer. And you slowly begin to build it. As the magic rises within you, you let it build. So by the time Christmas is rolling around, by the time you even hit December, you're full go. Because if you wait to December 1st, for a lot of people, when they start decorating Christmas, they're pretty lazy. Things got to be doing one go, one go, one go. You get the tree, you do the lights, everything's like a weekend. So you're not even really ready by the time Christmas even rolls around. So November's kind of, it's just let it take some time. Let it take your peace and just slowly build it. But that's just me, dude. That's just how I like to live. That's how I believe it should be done. Um, but at the end of the day, your opinions don't mean nothing, okay? Because if, if you care what I'm doing in my booth or I care what you're doing in your house or what you're listening to in your ear pods, okay, it don't matter. If you want to listen to Christmas music, do it. If you want to listen to, you know, a, fall doesn't have a song, but if you wanted to just listen to, like, the wind blow and the leaves crunching, do that, okay? It's up to you. That's what the holidays are all about. Embrace them in the way you see fit. But for me, November's that wild card, right? It's that... Let it build. Let it things happen sporadically. And you don't have to force it. Just let it happen. Like a couple days ago, uh, or like November 2nd. Uh, yeah, it was a couple days ago. Um, I was going to work out, you know, because I've been uh, getting strong. And all of a sudden I had this feeling to freaking put on some Have yourself a merry little Christmas. And I put that on. I know everybody's like, yo, listen to some heavy metal. Get angry at the weights because it'll make you live stronger than ever. And usually I do that and it works fine. But I was like, yo, let me, I'm feeling it right now. Something in the air. When that cold breeze hits you just right, you're like, light a candle. 
put that song on. And I did. And it felt silly for a second. It's like, and let me tell you what, dude. I was busting out PRs left and right. That's personal records for the use that don't listen to Christmas music while you lift. Um, it was pretty, it was intense, dude. I was, I was like, dang, man, I'm breaking everything I had. I've never been stronger in my life than when I was listening to Mariah Carey. And uh, it was going hard. It was going crazy. So I don't know if the, the joy of holidays, if, if lifting happy is better than lifting angry. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if Santa's got some regime. I mean, probably not. The guy looks like he hasn't stopped eating cookies and been to the gym and ever. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the connection is there between the Christmas spirit, but it was working. Okay. It's like the power that the reindeers use to lift the sleigh. I was using to lift the weights, dude. And uh, yeah, maybe it's the reindeers. I have no idea what the reindeers are on. Those guys are strong as crap, dude, to lift the big old fatty Santa Claus. Test them. There's no way they're natural. They're going to test positive for RGH. Reindeer growth hormone, okay? They're on the stairwell. It's not natural at all. But I respect it, okay? I mean, look at Rudolph. Guy's got the big red nose. Might as well just be the freaking steroid acne. The guys, there's something there, but don't test them because they got to do, like, sometimes you have to be that strong to get the job done. And uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. But that's the holidays, dude. That's the holidays. And if you want to get real strong, have with the reindeer as a heaven or just listen to the music because it works. And uh, at the end of the day, do everything how you see fit. Uh, oh my gosh, that freaking dude. It wasn't just the fly. There's a dog. There's a dog up there. A dog that just likes to run around and scream. And, uh, and she's gotten better. I, I haven't talked about her in a while on the podcast, but she's, she has gotten better, um, in a sort. Here's, here's my problem with Abby Rose, the dog who has two names. Um, I've, I've said this before, not on the podcast, but I've said that she's really like a cyclist on the road right? It's like she's not causing a lot of harm. She's not doing anything wrong, technically, but she's always in the freaking way. It's like, no matter where you go, it's like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Just move. And you're trying to get through the kitchen. I gotta freaking flip them pancakes, Abby. And you don't want to step on the dog because, you know, you're not Michael Vick, but you're just trying to get places. And she's always in the way, man. She just always finds a way to do that. I've never had a dog like that. She's like, oh, if you're moving, let me just go right in front of you like a cyclist and just slowly take my time. It's "It's 45, dude. You're going to tell me you're going to go 45 with those quads? You definitely haven't been listening to some Michael Buble while you've been lifting and squatting. But anyways, it's, uh, it's just hard. And that's just who she is. That's her personality. It's just... It's not wrong, but ain't right. You feel me? Right? And that's just... That's kind of what Abby's bringing to the table. It's annoying, but she's also sounding off. So she's not just a cyclist. She's like a cyclist with the hard reflectors. And you're like, dude, can you just go on the sidewalk? Can you just do anything? Like, get a stationary bike, dude. Abby, get a stationary. Like, find, I'll get pl- like a scarecrow or an inflatable of some other person. She'll just go right in front of me. Like, yeah, dude, I'm winning. I'm winning. And that's kind of what cyclists need to do. We need to trick the cyclists. Or, they don't need to be tricked. Whoever, I'm, I'm guessing whoever made stationary bikes in the first place probably had pretty bad road rage. It's like, oh my, if I could just freaking get these guys off the road forever. If I could find a way to make them ride their bikes at home and still, I'd do it. And he figured it out. And they still get out on the road. Like, why, dude? If you want, if it's, is it the wind in your face? Get a fan. Is it the freaking scenery? Put your iPad up there. There's no reason to ride on these roads. The worst part is when you're on these, like, freaking country roads, these downhill canyons. They should not be allowed right here. Because you're going 15 down this huge thing, and you can't get around them because cars are screaming by, and it's a one lane. Cyclists should never be allowed in a one lane. Period. That's the actual story. But anyways, dude, uh, what else has been going on? I don't know how loud that clap was. So if you got hurt, (laughs) that's on you, dude. You should have. You know, you know I'm loud. You should have turned your headphones down. See, listen, we all learn a little bit. Um, uh, dude, I've been drinking so much water. I've been drinking so much water. It's been, it's been uh, new to me, dude. I, I never drink. I never had a lot of water. It was just I, I don't know why I didn't, but I was like dry, dry. Like every like I was just so dry. When people would walk by me, they go, "Dude, I'm thirsty all of a sudden," because I was that dry. You know, I think 
my personality made up for it. Like I'm super bubbly and excited, but my person, like not my personality, but my body was so dry on the inside. It's like, I got to start treating my body how I like to live outwards. Okay. Hey man, PG baby, praise God. And uh, so I started drinking some water and I was like, I'm gonna have a gallon a day, a gallon a day or more, whatever it depends. So I'm chugging it. I'm never thirsty, but I'm still chugging it and chugging it. And I'm peeing every 15 minutes. Okay. Now they say the body is like 70% of water, whatever that crap is. I know it varies because I looked it up before the show started. They're like, oh, it's 60, maybe it's 75 or whatever. I'm like 19 points ahead of whatever the percentage really is. Okay. I'm, I'm so, I got so much water in me. I'm causing a drought in the area. I'm so freaking hydrated 24 seven and I pee 24 seven. So at a certain point, I don't know what the health benefits are for this, right? I'm drinking, drink so much water, dude. You got to drink so much water. You'll be so much better healthily. It's like, dude, Life was so much easier before he had the water, right? Sure, other people got thirsty, but not your boy, okay? I was chilling. I was, you know, I wasn't even thirsty. I was just dry on the inside, explosive on the outside. But I don't know what the health benefits are, so if somebody else wants to explain to me what that is, uh, please do, because it's it's getting difficult to know that I might be doing this for nothing. I don't know. <laughs> but that's that's been a trick. I've just been trying to be more healthy, right? Because I was sick for a little bit and I kind of, I'm, I'm trying to get back into my, my zone of eating, of eating good and eating healthy. And so here's something like after everything passed, after all the sickness was gone, I was like, I'm going to sit back down. I'm going to start eating a salad, some cottage cheese, you know, some, some nice healthy things, healthy food groups, no more chocolate. Okay. Put down the chocolate, no more s'mores. Just set it down just for a minute. I start having my first meal. I kid you not, dude. I take a bite of salad and I sneezed for four minutes straight. I was like allergic. My body's like, <laughs> expel, expel, get this out of me, dude. And that's, I don't know if that says anything about healthy food. Maybe it's secretly bad for us or just, or my body was like, dude, we love good things. <laughs> what the heck is that? A vegetable? And so your body, you know, you got to make sure you, it's kind of like Christmas, dude. Vegetables are kind of like Christmas. You can't go full go. You got to let it happen naturally, man. You got to let the vegetables happen when you feel like it. You can never force a vegetable. You force a vegetable, you force a holiday, and everybody's upset. Dueling vegetables. Fruits and vegetables. So anyways, man, uh, if you're having trouble, if you're having the sickness, if you're having whatever, maybe, uh, I don't know. Don't eat so many vegetables. What else is going on? Uh, we we recently just changed our cable service, dude. And I don't I have cord cutters. Unite, you know, I like I know a lot of people are like that, but it works. It's good. I mean, we've only we're only one day into it, so I don't know if it's super effective yet. It could cut out. The internet cuts out a lot, so we'll see. We'll see. Time will tell. I can't really be, you know, cord cutters, hurrah, you know, just yet. But uh, I'm excited to see what just happens here because it's nice. It's it's cheaper. It's faster. It feels like everything's smoother and. Um, it's pretty cool. The one fun thing about that was that I got to set it up and I have never got to, you know, set up anything ever, you know, for like the whole, a uh, family plan. So that was cool. And, um, so I got to make all the family accounts and I got to make my dad's. Now my dad, his name is Carlton Search Wars the fourth. <laughs> now, uh, the nickname is right there, right? I'm pretty good at naming things. So, I've, I've been I've been trying to get him to use this nickname for a while. He just won't do it. I don't know if anyone said this to him besides me, but I've been trying to get him to use C. Or that it should be like this, right? If it's backwards, it should be a C four, right? Like the bomb. He's it's C four. He's Carlton the fourth. C four explosions. So that's why I made his username, and I thought it was hilarious, and just reminded me how awesome I am at naming things, dude. Like this show, and uh, C four. It's it's incredible. It's genius. It's beautiful. Um. I will say about the show, I wanted to mention that in naming things, <laughs> it was so hard for me to settle on a specific name for the show. And now I'm going to tell you something in a second that I'm not proud of, but I just had to let it happen. Uh, when naming things, I'm constantly like coming at them from a bully angle, right? It's like, oh, you can't freaking, you can't bully, you freaking make fun of this name, right? That's how I, that's how I attack all the names. I come up with something and I destroy it or I try my best to. Because I don't want to be crushed. I freaking grew up with four brothers, right? That's just how life is. The reason I'm freaking trying to get healthy for the first time ever is because I was ridiculed my whole life, dude. You know, the whole fat shaming thing that's just come up recently where you're like, oh, you know, you shouldn't make fun of people for your weight. That wasn't around 
you know, when I was a little bit overweight, my family, my brothers, I walk outside, I'm like, hey guys, what's up? Because I'm bouncy, and they're like, I'm like, what are you guys doing? They're like, yeah, we're just going to call the concrete repair guy, because you're, you know, you're freaking cracking everything. I'm like, okay, real funny, real funny. Um, but that's just, you know, I have a group with brothers, everybody freaking attacks you, that's bully. So I come at things, when I create something, I think, how do I pound this thing down to a salt? And that's why it's really hard to settle on a specific name. Like when I came up with Full Circus, now this is the part, the one thing I found a way to attack it was Dull Circus. And that made me really sad, dude. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have put that in the out, but it's kind of like what they say, freaking attack yourself before others can attack you. So I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse for getting that off my chest, but I did anyways. And I think the problem with that is, is it attacks me so hard because it's supposed to be exciting. So if somebody's like, hey, listen up to Dull Circus, I would freaking pee my pants of sadness. And I don't even know what that means, but I'm so hydrated. Everything I do, urine is connected to every emotion. But anyways, I digress. Um, actually, I don't digress. I finished my point completely. I'm good at naming things, and that's because I attack them so hard. So if you need naming things, if you want a cool nickname like C4... Which is still the coolest thing ever. Dad, if you can hear me, start using C4. He won't listen, but it's so cool, dude. And if you're freaking, you know, Carlton the Fourth or Carly the Fourth or Craig the Fourth, feel free to use that, okay? So I throw out the magic, dude. Like November, everything I do is magical, but in spurts. It's not controlled, not forced, kind of like a vegetable. Spurts, spurts of magic. You feel it. You don't force it. You let it happen. But yeah, I'm good at naming things, dude. I'm good at naming things, and uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that, dude. I'm talented. Is that is that wrong to say? The reason I have a podcast in the first place is so I can talk and let you know how awesome I am. So don't call it dull circus. Um, I tell you, this was this was a different thought I just had, and it's and it's now kind of relevant because there was a fly in here. Uh, you know, some of the things that aren't named very well, a fly, dude. You know, who came up with that? Adam, I don't know if Adam and Eve were right there, the Lord, or whoever saw the insect. Maybe they had never seen a bird before. What does it do? What, what does it do? It flies, Joshua. It flies. Well, what do we call it? You know, maybe we call it like a winger or, you know, air surfer. What do we, what do we call it? I don't know if I did, whoever these characters are back in history. We call it a fly. Wow, dude, he flies. You know, there's probably like a crawler or whatever. There's a, it's, it's a creepy crawly crawly, you know? It's not like a centipede, dude. Whoever came with the centipede, like the hundred legs, freaking whatever, that's genius. These guys deserve a raise. Whoever's doing centipede, big bucks to you. And then downgrade a season, right? You got, it flies. It's, it's a fly. You proud of me? You think centipede guy's like... I would have called that, you know, freaking turbulence or whatever. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, some people just aren't good at naming things. So some people can't come up with great C4 nicknames like that. Um, what else is named poorly, though? That's fine. <laughs> uh, dude, fruit. Talk about a fruit. An orange? How more basic can you get than the color? The color, dude. Imagine somebody's like, oh, we got we got freaking... Or the orange was probably the first fruit. That's probably what happened, like the... The Lord, you know, after whatever, the fruits of tree, tree and evil. Or, yeah, I don't even know. Um, but <laughs> after the after the fruits were coming in, they're like, hey, what's this? Name it something. Call it whatever you want. Anything. Whatever your mind comes up with. Look at this. Look at this orange fruit right here. Anything. You can literally call it butt cheeks. Just say anything. First thing that comes to your mind. Three, two, one. Orange. Orange? You just said the color of it, dude. What the heck? So I don't know what's up with people who name the fruits, right? A lot of the fruits are kind of weird in the first place, right? You have apple. It's like they just held the, held the, ha, oh, apple. And like, oh, and I bet the Lord was looking down. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, they can't name me. They can't even name the fruits. The things are coming off the trees. There's a lot of them. Name them right. You, did you call that a fly? What the heck? Like the Lord, think about that. This guy's making beautiful creations. Imagine if you had a kid and someone named him baby or toddler or guy in crib, you know? It's just it's just kind of you can't just name it what it's doing or what it looks like at the time. Sit. <laughs> like that's why Abby would call be called a cyclist. He would be called in the way. That's just what the dog would be called. But you can't. You got to be creative. So I don't know what's wrong with the apple. That's probably what the Lord was like, "Okay, you think this is funny? You're not going to put a lot of work? 
Boom! So he started making different colored apples. Granny Smith, you know, whatever. You golden, whatever. I, I don't even know my apples. Um, but it's just, it's ridiculous. So he's like, bust that out, bust that out, bust that out. Because they're not good at naming fruits. Whoever was doing the fruits sucked. They were horrible. Look, banana? Banana? Banana sounds like... Like whoever was forcing this on them, it's like name that name that fruit right there. The freaking the curly, the yellow one. You better not you if you freaking call it yellow, I'm gonna slap you. And that's why it's like, oh, it got it's gotta come off green. That way it changes. It's greenish yellow. It looks like the guy was like, Okay, you got you you've been working on this thing. You can't call it yellow. I know it's taking you five days, but you gotta come up with something right now. We have so many other fruits to get to, okay? Name it. Three, two, like he just threw out Syllables, right? That's kind of what banana sounds like. Banana, banana. It's that was caveman for real. I don't. He maybe he even invented cave. Caveman, cave, man. That's a caveman. So people suck at naming things. That's the problem. Banana. So do better, people who name things. So next time something gets discovered, come to yours truly, because I'm coming up with good stuff. Okay, I'm coming up with the magic. Uh, it's just, it's ridiculous. I, I, I don't even know what to say about these people, but it's preposterous, dude. It's preposterous. And I don't say that word often, so you know I'm serious. Freaking P R preposterous, okay? Whatever. Um, I'll, <laughs> I can spell preposterous, okay? I should probably, this is one of the things, like, where I kind of pretend to play dumb a little bit on the show. I'm not. I'm way smarter than I pretend to be. Um, no, I'm not. But there are some things where I do play dumb or, you know, ignorant to some things. <laughs> and because my mom was my teacher in homeschool, she'll text me. like, you know how to spell preposterous, right? You're like, oh, you know what a non sucker Do you freaking, hey, I taught you the difference between freaking your and your, right? I was like, I don't, how did you, you can't even, it's, there's no subtitles. How, why would you even say that? So... I don't know if it embarrasses her or something. Like she's like, "Oh gosh, you you know that's not right, right?" And she's like trying to make me feel not make me feel dumb. At the same time, I was like, "Ma, hey, I got it. Okay, watch this. P R E P O S T E R O U S. I could spell preposterous, dude. I was a spelling champion. But uh, I think it's funny <laughs> because every time I do something on this podcast, she's like, "Hey, hey, just checking in. You." You know, you're not actually, I taught you right, right? So, Mom, uh, I just want to say, you taught me. I'm a, I'm a genius, okay? Have you seen me name some stuff? I'm a genius. So, if anything, she can be proud of that. But it is funny that it's, be, it's I, I don't know if other moms do that, but it's probably because she's my teacher. She's like, oh, God, I forgot to teach him how to spell preposterous. You know, I, I, I'm just, it's just occurring to me now that she probably has to look at everything that I've ever done. She's like, oh, that's on me. I didn't teach him that. If something, if you do something stupid, your parents are like, school system failed them. Yeah. But if I do something like, oh, crap, Tristan, golly, you don't even, how do you not know that corn is a specific to fall? Gah! So that's, it's just life. That's part of being growing up in, 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 in all the situations that it is. But with my stupidity, dude, I just kind of, I don't, I don't do it all the time. I just let it happen. Magic, dude. It's like magic. Kind of like fall and Christmas and other things and candy and vegetables. I, I'm really, the flight's freaking, maybe this podcast was going to be greater before that flight threw in. And maybe if it was named different, things would have been different. But it derailed. Nonetheless. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Full Circus. Don't you ever dare say dull circuit. I will come through the screen and slap the urine out of you. Now, you might not have to pee, but if you drink as much as I did, you would. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this regular episode of Full Circus. Crap, it, I'm really serving it up to you. You better not. Thank you guys so much. It's been a beautiful time. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had some laugh, and I'll see you next week. Yeah, that's not even related to holidays.